Hello! Today I thought we'd have a look at a little bit of an unusual recipe and we're going to be using shea butter. Now normally when we make shea butter soap we only use small amounts and we thought we'd try and see what happens when you push the limits a little bit and start using far more. I'm Sarah Janes from Soap School and it's great to have you with us today. Now if you stick around I'm also going to be adding in a swirl design to this soap and we're going to be making them in spheres. Now in this particular recipe which I'm going to make sure is in the description for you as well we're using 50% of our oils as shea butter. We're also going to be using coconut oil and a little bit of sweet almond oil and to that I'm going to add my lye solution. Now I haven't tried this particular recipe before, so we're both going to see how it turns out together. I'm going to give that a good mixing and just give it a buzz. I don't want this to be too thick, so I'm not taking it to a thicker trace. I want it quite a light trace because I want to do a little bit of a design in here as well. And I'm using these lovely sphere moulds from Crafter's Choice. I'm sure you can get other similar ones which are often used for making ice cubes actually. So you can get these on eBay and Amazon and many other stores as well. Let's give it a buzz and start to mix this properly. Okay, and that is perfect. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so I want another jug and I'm gonna pour some of this off into a separate jug, about a third of the mixture. I'm just gonna add some mica color and oil into this. And I love my knife spatulas. They're one of my favourite tools. Give that a good mix up. Make sure you get right round the sides. Do you know pink is not a colour I use a whole lot, but when I do use it, I just always fall in love with it all over again. There we go, that's nicely mixed. And now I'm just going to literally randomly pour this at different places into my soap and I'm going to keep a little bit back for afterwards. And then we're just going to literally start filling the moulds up and just pour them in until they just start to come out the top. I want them almost slightly overfilled like that. I'm hoping that we get a nice kind of marbled look to these. Oh, now I've got an air pocket in that one, so I'm going to just tap it and hopefully I can just get a little bit more in there. So I'm going to put a question up for you. I would like to know, is pink your favourite colour? In the top right hand corner, let me know if pink is your favourite colour. I think my favourite colour is probably blue. And I'm going to fill some of these other cavities up with the same mix. And where is my special spatula, my super duper one? I love these spatulas so much. I use them for absolutely everything. I've even got a couple of different sizes in them. And then I'm just going to tap and vibrate the mould a little bit and that will totally level off most of the surface of the soap. Now if you can see that your soap is going to be too high and you've got too much in there, 
just use the top of the spatula and scrape it off at the same time and get rid of that excess. It just makes it so much easier than waiting. And the same on that one. I'm just gonna scrape off a little bit and then level it again. And I'm gonna leave these now for 24 hours and then I'm gonna come back and we'll see how the soap is performing with such high level of shea butter and also how our swirl has turned out between the two molds because it's exactly the same soap but we'll probably get two totally different looks and you can see which one you prefer. Well I really like the way that these turned out. If you would like to see more videos like this do please click that subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you again really soon. Bye bye for now.